In this video, I'm going to talk to you about why you should never use a knife as your sole weapon for self-defense. And this video is inspired by uh, a dream I had a night ago where I was sitting in a cafe. I was sitting inside the cafe and there were a bunch of uh, youngsters sitting outside the cafe and they were talking uh, about several things and uh, suddenly the topic of self-defense came up uh, and this girl says, I always carry a knife with me, you know, in case anyone wants to mess with me, you know, they'll get this from me. And I was suddenly uh, shaken by that and I I don't know if I would do this in reality, but in my dream, I got up and I went to that table and I said, hey guys, you might think that a knife is one of the best uh, weapons to carry for self-defense, but you are wrong, okay? And I'll tell you why. When someone thinks about self-defense, like someone thinks about self-defense the first time, okay? The number one weapon or tool that comes to, the, to, to that person's mind is a knife and that's because knives are you know have been a u universal thing for self-defense universal tool for self-defense it has been used for ages uh, as a self-defense weapon but it is not the best tool to carry uh, you know for self-defense today and the reason is because we are not living in a barbarian society where you can you know just carry one of these and then you know you're attacked your life is in danger, you remove this, you stab the person or you slash the person enough to escape. That does not happen today. What instead happens today is you're attacked and you take this out and you use it for self-defense. And then you end up in court, okay? And you have to go through that process. Or, uh, and this has happened so many times, you know, I am appalled by people who wield a knife or wield any self-defense weapon for ego battles your life is not in danger but someone's you know insulted you called you you know said some bad word road rage immediately you know a knife or something else comes out such people are threats to society my viewers you guys should not be one of them if you are such a person first learn to you know have a rein on your own emotions on your own inner self okay you know if you're living in a country like honduras uh uh, uh you know or, or, or a dangerous uh, a very dangerous place in africa you know certain places are just there is no law there there is no uh protection uh, for you from the police then if you're carrying something like this or maybe even a bigger knife a dagger would make sense but if you're living in india in in america in the uk uh, in certain good places in Africa, you are in a place that that the government and the law enforcement is sitting outside your main door, okay? And you think that carrying something like this around is going to save your life, but no. You would carry this around and you would, you know, use it when you think your life is in danger if you're not one of those other fools who use it for ego. But after using it, you're hounded uh, by, by the law enforcement. You you're answerable to the police uh, and you know to the courts. And your life is in a mess then. You're going to be in and out of court or even in jail for the rest of your life. If you know the court thinks that, you know, or, or the you know the other side can prove that you were carrying this for offense. And it's very easy to do that, especially in places where the judiciary is corrupted easily by money, okay? That is one of the key reasons not to carry a knife, uh, you know, for the sole purpose of self-defense. But there's one more thing. Most of you carrying a knife on you will not really use it in a life-threatening situation because you don't know how to use it and you have never practiced it with it and you're afraid of using it, okay? So even if you're a woman carrying a knife, you know, very, um, 
very confidently in her in your bag and you're you're saying if anyone tries to rape me or if anyone tries to do something against me they're gonna have it maybe like the woman in my dream when the situation comes you won't have the 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 mindset the preparation or the guts to take that out and use it and that is another big reason i i tell people carry something that is less lethal <laughs> not less lethal non-lethal okay like a pepper spray okay like another blunt tool like the like the uh, you know keychain i showed you in my previous video the bone breaker uh, keychain by uh, bone tactical or a stun gun or um, a tactical pen which are non-lethal if used the right way okay uh, rather than carrying a knife solely for self-defense carrying a knife with you i believe every person should have a sharp tool on them okay uh, for any purpose a sharp tool is uh, one of the most basic necessities uh, for mankind but don't carry one for the sole purpose of self-defense so that your mindset is not oriented to pull this out when you are defending your life because things can get messy after that apart from the fact that the courts are behind you and all of that you don't want to be killing someone for self-defense okay uh, apart from the fact that it can be used against you in courts you're taking someone else's life that should not be the case not especially if you're not in a place like Honduras or some scary part of the world where women are raped and thrown on the street like almost every day you can stab someone uh, kill them and get away with it get away with it's not just with the court system but even with your conscience and you know the consequences of taking someone else's life so don't be foolish carry a knife with you carry a small knife with you i always carry a small knife with me within legal permit in my state in my country i use it for various purposes okay when people are when you're traveling in groups people always depend on me for a knife and there's always a utility for a knife i hope you guys especially you young folks who think that carrying a knife and a flip knife and all of that is cool grow up okay uh carry something else on you for self-defense and more than anything prepare your mind train every day exercise do other things that you can do to take care of yourself your family and your property all right i'll see you in the next one bye bye